We just watched Star Trek the original series for the very first time, and now we are watching Star Trek the animated series. We are on episode five. I'm loving it so far. What about you? Oh, this show is great. I've seen some people comment, oh, it's not as good. I don't think it'll hold up, blah, 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 blah. And uh, I didn't read any comments beforehand. I'm glad I didn't because uh, I'm not jaded at all. I love it. Well, we're going to keep going here, episode five, and we're going to start right now. Space, the final frontier. <laughs> uh. Hey! What? A oh, sequel no. episode? I didn't recognize the writer. I wonder if it's the same writer by chance. Shipment of seed grain, Quinto Triticale. Say that three times fast. <laughs> Observation may confirm a rumor that the Klingons have a new weapon, type so far unknown. Now, they referenced Klingons once already, but, like, they didn't show up or anything. Target. Oh, here's a Klingon ship. Hey, there we go. wonder how they'll look. They're firing on him. Oh, we're going <laughs> to rescue that pilot. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, they're going to transport him right over? Oh, damn. That's what I put in my voice. Disruption. Ah, Captain Kirk. <laughs> Release my ship. If you will turn over the pilot of the little ship. That ship was a Federation-built craft. So is a pilot just floating in beam, beam world right now? Oh, I guess so, yeah. <sighs> or his particles are all just disintegrated. It, uh. They're veering off. Sensors indicate their power cells are almost exhausted. Can you integrate that pilot now? I think so, Captain. We'll be right there. Oh, I had already forgotten there was a Tribbles thing. <laughs> I already forgot that was in the title. Oh, yeah. Because so I think that's the guy. The guy from the Tribbles episode? I think we know that man. <laughs> Cyrano Jones. And he's got Tribbles with him. Triples. They're purple now. Yeah, look a little bit different. I'm surprised. Like this. Is, well, no, I guess they did do Spock's parents, but I was gonna say this is the first like animating of a guest character yeah, from yeah. one episode. Tribbles are well known for their proclivities in multiplication, and they breed fast too. Yes. They don't reproduce. I've had them genetically engineered for compatibility with humanoid ecologies. How did you get away from Space Station K-7? You were supposed to clean up all the Tribbles there. Found some help. <laughs> this is a Tribble Predator. It's called a Glama. Oh, God. Well, at least it's neat. They couldn't animate it eating it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they want Cyrano Jones very badly. He really doesn't seem the saboteur type, Jim. Yes. We've managed to transfer all the grain aboard, but it severely limits us. We fill the shuttlecraft hangars, all our extra holes. Don't the Tribbles eat that stuff? And if they start eating it, they're gonna... Yeah, what are the odds that both times they come across the Tribbles, they have to transport grain? Oh, that's neat. Oh, yeah. It was like docked yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've got broken cargo containers in all the corridors, and the Tribbles are eating the grain! Get Cyrano Jones up here. What can I do for you? Your Tribbles are all over my ship. Captain, a harmless little Tribble. Harmless, maybe. Little... <sighs> in any case, they're eating the Quinto Triticale. The what? <laughs> the what? The Klingons are coming back. Speak of the devil. Jim, there's something about these triples. Later, Bones. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Eric's the same face at all times. <laughs> Nothing phases him. I want your prisoner. Don't force me to take steps that we will both regret. Aren't you going to sit down, sir? I think... I'll stand. <laughs> Cyrano Jones took a Klingon genetic construct from one of our planets. It was designed to be a Tribble Predator. Oh. Uh. A 
of the space salvage laws, he's mine. A planetary surface is not covered by space salvage laws. The engine room is filled with treble. Well, we can do something about that. He did it to us again! Let's see, how's that little one gonna... <laughs> yeah, do anything. Well, they'll have to create a large one. Oh, oh what? A shot of neoethylene will fix everything. The treble colonies will break down into their individual units with a slower metabolic rate. Say, you didn't get this one, Bones. Oh, yes, I did. But it has some... Oh, it's gonna be the same. The same, same shot yeah. from the show. <laughs> Someday I'll learn. Uh, Aye, Captain. But you've got to admit, it's best if all the tribbles are little ones. <laughs> Look directly at the camera. <laughs> all right. Interesting. I do appreciate the fact that they brought back the tribbles, but like did something new with it instead of just like bringing them back and doing the exact same thing. Yeah. Um, they did copy kind of like a lot of the setup of the episode of the original series. Like you have the Klingons there, you have, you know, Cyrano Jones, you have their transporting grain. Like it's all the same beats, but they just mix it up a little bit. So it was fine. Yeah, just comes off a little different in animated form and 20 something minute form instead of, you know, 50 minute form. So I can appreciate that. Um, it's another one of those things that I think feel like this could have been solved with a little communication. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, we. Remember Serrano Jones from earlier? Well, he's back at it again. Uh, we need, you know, we have a triple problem. Instead, you know, they have this weapon that not only, you know, takes, you know, the Enterprise uh, functions offline, it takes theirs offline as well. Like, this, this is weird. I don't know. After seeing the Tribbles episode in the original series and now this one, I just don't think the Tribbles are for me. Like, I just don't, you know, it's just not my preferred thing. Yeah, it's one of those classic Star Trek episodes when people, it's like, it's one of those, like, top ten that people think about when they think of Star Trek. Like, oh, yeah, that episode, but... Yeah, I understand why it's, like, an iconic Star Trek thing, mm -hmm. but for me personally, like, I didn't really enjoy this episode any more or less than I enjoyed the Tribbles episode in Star Trek. Like, they were both just fine episodes, just not really my thing, except at least the original series episode had that whole bar sequence with yeah. a bar fight. This one didn't really have anything like that. Uh, but there was a couple of little, uh, you know, neat things in there to keep it interesting. But you know, overall, it was just fine. Yeah, it just felt like a remake for the kids and maybe, you know, for the ones who, you know, watched the original show, just something a little different. And I still appreciate the continuity. Even even uh, bringing up the conclusion of the Tribbles episode where he had to stay on the ship and clean them all yeah, up. Yeah, like, yeah. They're, re they're really digging into the continuity and callbacks for this. Yeah. All right, well, that's going to be all we have to say. What do you guys think about this Tribbles episode? Do you like it uh, more or less than the other one? What do, you, what do you think about it? Let us know. And if it's your first time here, make sure to subscribe, become part of the target audience, watch all of our Star Trek reactions. Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. See ya. That's it. We're done. <laughs>